How you guys doing? This is Hybrid Steel. Welcome to that one over there. Jolly Pods, mini golf and arcade. The aim of the game is to create the greatest arcade and greatest putt putt hole in the world. So we're going to get into this now. Um, it's uh, early. Okay, so I've got an early build. Thank you very much to the creators. It's most appreciated. And what we're going to do is I'm going to show you the bare bones of the game, how things work and the rest of the world. All right, cool. Hey, champ. Still think it's a good idea, don't you? Well, you're here. So let's get over some basics one last time. All right, cool. Now build your first course and don't worry if it's not perfect. You can close it later in edit. So we're, what we're going to do is we're going to build our very, very, very first golf mini golf. Mini, yeah, mouse sensitivity is really, really up there. Now I turn the music right down and the reason why I've done that is because, well, copyright music and, you know, the joys of YouTube, you know, watch your back and this, that and the other. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create a golf hole. Oh, yeah. So we've got various different tiles at this precise moment in time. Right now, very bare bones and basic, but we are, it, it's getting. You know what? I'm going to do that. Oh, I can't do that. Okay. Um, That way? No, nope, that's not going to. That way? No, nope, that's not going to. Right. I said, no, we got, right. We need to go the other way. There we go. Congratulations. And we'll put the hole there. Easy hole to start with. Not too difficult. Okay, so length, one. Difficulty, three. Excitement three and complexity three. We are a three star golf course. You're doing a good job. I'll give you a hundred dollars in case you've already blown all your f on your first course. Well, it's not a course, is it? It's just a hole, man. Oh, right. Now it's time to build an arcade machine. They come in two variants. Those are th those that are merely for fun and those that reward tickets. Oh, I love ticket arcades. We have a little bit of addiction to them because every time we go near the beach, there's arcades down there and they do tickets and the kids like collecting tickets. Yeah, we we spend. Yeah, well, let's put it this way. We spend enough in there to get those little plastic monster trucks and just go, oh, God damn it, why did we do this? Anyways, let's get myself a ski ball. Yay me. Right, so I want to actually, I'm going to divide this off. This is going to be my golf course section, and at the moment, this is going to be my arcade. So I'm going to build my first arcade machine there. We've done it. We've now completed task number one, make money. Now that your guests can win tickets, you need to provide them with prizes. No, we don't. Why did it just take loads of money? I've only got $495. What the hell is going on? Okay, I need this. Yep. Great work. Now open the prize stall so we can get some stock of the wonderful rewards. Yep. I say we need 10 moustache combs. That's why I don't grow one. I have to have a specialised comb for it. No, 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 no. Very well, but we are not done yet. See the light in the top left? It is still red. Yes, it is. In order to give out those nifty moustache combs, we need to hire a clerk and put him into the stall. I'll give you another $100. Hiring is not cheap. No, but if I can get somebody working to me for $100, generally not a bad problem splendid i think we are ready to go it's time to open the park this is a park this is the most depressing park i've ever seen and that's and it's mine that that's the worst part okay so i want to cover the arcade and i want to cover the golf and then we're good there we go so i've got a mechanic in and we've got um yeah a rubbish picker as well fantastic now we pick on we click on this go to jolly putt mini golf and arcade and change the name and call it um holy moly yep holy moly or holy moly and it's 50 dollars to get in wow okay that's expensive Ooh, new floors with this ferrero rocher you're really spooling us wow did you see this one that's like straight out of the 80s that one boom all right i'm gonna go with uh hardwood floors i want yes we like this and i'm not really sure about the ceiling so i'm gonna paint it blue so it blends in with the sky lights Ooh, atmospheric. I like it. All right, this one, I want to go blue, really. Because that looks... The floor looks all right as well. And this light, I'm going to actually have that white. And we're done. And then we open it. Yay! We've opened our park. Holy moly. And we just made $150 because three people walked in and paid me $50. You absolute mugs. All right, cool. So there we are. We got three people. So I need to upgrade. I basically need to start making more money very quickly. And the only way that I can really think about making more money is by putting out arcade machines and giving people a reason to do things. Because if you give them a reason to do it, they'll do it. And that's fine. So we need to just start ramming arcade machines down these people's throats. There we go. And we get some driving ones in there as well.
There we go. Lots of arcades. Lots of this. Lots of that. Fantastic. And I'll get another claw machine in. There we are. We've made an arcade. I, I feel so blessed and privileged to have this opportunity. Right, next I'm going to build a dividing wall. The reason why I'm going to build a wall is because I don't want people to like linger around too much. I don't want them to mess around, you know. In the great words of Donald Trump, we need to build a wall. It needs to be the best wall ever. Please be the wall. Right, cool. And now I need to go into here and click on here and we need to get some stock for candy and bits and pieces. So, I need 10 of those. That's really expensive. I don't, think I'm going to, I don't know if I'm going to be able to afford 10. I might be able to afford like 8 of them. 64 bucks for some... Yeah, there we go. We'll make some money. That's okay. So they got one golf hole, four ticket arcade, four ticket machines, and ten arcade machines. Hopefully, we start making dosh from this because we do need money. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the game for a little bit, and then I'll come back and show you the rest of it. And the reason why is because it takes a little bit of time to get this all started up, and I don't want you sitting there for an hour or so. So, see you in a second. One nap later. Rightio, so I gave it a go for about half an hour or so, racking up the cash and building a couple of holes, as you can see on the course. Now, the best part about this game is that I can physically test these myself. Now, the game does have a little bit of a thing inside it where if you build the hold too long, like, let's say, part like number two there, the game goes through its own little checks to see if it can actually be done. If it can't be done, it'll take a little bit longer to load, and then it basically says, it can't be finished. So it tells you you can't do it, you have to redesign. So that's why some of these are pretty simple. Now, I did do a little bit of an experiment with some raised up areas. The only way that I was able to do a raised up area that would genuinely get like people to play it would be how like hole three is. The problem with that is that when you go to actually build something above ground, it seems that people want to end up like walking through the scenery a little bit. It's a little bit of a pain in the butt, so I had to mess around with that as well. It's been fun, but you know, each to their own on this one. It's um, it's a bit of a git. So. Apparently hole 3 is really hard to do. No one's able to get up the top of this hill. Just don't hit it as hard mate, you'll be fine. Yeah, I think this is in a... I'm going to have to watch this to see if it is just a looping issue. He's whacking that ball really hard. Wow. Okay, I made this quite... It's not that difficult. You just got to not put out as much power into that top bit as possible. There we go. See? Not that hard. So yeah, we can walk around our arcade, look at the prizes and so on and so forth. I have got to restock those in a minute and I'll give you a shout. This is what we've got so far. A map of nothing so as you can see let's go and do I'll go and do hog five because this is like my newest edition right now so hold five awesome and then it will teleport me up to the level where the ball is that'll do for a second shot not too shabby. And pop it in for par. Ta-da. See? All good. But yeah, so you do have the ability to make your own courses, which is nice. You do have a little bit of freedom right now. We hungry. We're going to get this guy going. So we will bring in the appliances. Yes, we will. And that will be all right. And then we'll bring in a staff member. And staff member works there. All good. Now, we've only got $69 left, but that is enough to buy one load of chairs. So I can put my chairs there, and I want another one there, and I want another one there. We'll do, we'll do another row here, and then we're just going to fill out this space for arcades a bit. I think I, I, I did want to keep this as like a walkway behind the machine so people can get around a bit easier, which is nice. Um, I do still need to put a, a couple of things to help them out. For all those tired people that want to sit down, there's your chance. But yeah, so far I'm actually enjoying this. Downside is right now is the build that I've got it hasn't got sound effects so much, so I can't hear anything. If I turn the music on, it's like a repetitive couple of tracks that keep going round and round, and genuinely starts to drive you a bit mad after about 10-15 minutes. But apart from that, I'm all good. Now the reason why I like this more is because it's built the very same sort of way that like um, uh, definitely not fried chicken was made so it's very very sort of like geometric way you're putting things out it's very flat it's very easy to get to get to grips with and the controls aren't too difficult now i do like that in all this and i think that's just because i'm a simple person i like simple things and if they work 
then it doesn't matter if it's simple or not. At the end of the day, the whole game works and there's no major issues. The only major issue I found was literally clipping, people falling through bits of scenery when you put a hole further up. Apart from that, nothing. So there is this next section. This next section is literally upgrading bits and pieces. Now the downside to upgrading is that in order for you to upgrade, going by what I can see on the map, is that you need to get like bronze memberships, then you need to get like silver memberships and gold memberships to unlock certain areas in this place. Now, looking at this map, it all looks really impressive. Like it is quite large. So the game is designed to have massive amounts of things that you can put into the game. The downside is right now, everything's a little bit sort of, well, not quite all there. All right, last couple of bits of arcade stuff we got to put in. I want to put in some air hockey. And I need $85 for these. More air hockey. You know what? I'll buy another like ski ball thing. More tickets, man. More tickets. I love ticket machine. Could actually get one of these more. There we go. Full arcade run. Ticket, 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 ticket. Now I need one more air hockey. They are really struggling with hole three. That's a bit of a shame, that. So I do realize I sort of copied hole two and hole five. Don't worry. I know why I did it. It's because I wanted the I wanted the the holes to go this way up first, and then I was going to bring it back around. But then I don't know real, what I was going to do afterwards. So I I copied a very similar sort of way of doing things, and the reason why was just because it fit. Now, like I said, the game has this thing where if you get to a certain point where the hole's too long, the game doesn't like it so much, and it's like okay, then I won't worry about making things too difficult. And as this is only, I think this is just an early build, it's like area one sort of thing, then it does give me a good idea of what the game can actually do. So if you're into your like tycoon games where you are in control of like the entertainment that people are actually doing and how you're going to be making money and how you're going to be basically like, well, taking pennies from the paupers, I, I, I think this is one of those games that most people will enjoy over time. For me, this is one of those games when it, when it eventually does come out fully that I'll probably just have in the background. So if I'm going to be sitting here like in one day and just be like, you know what, I don't really feel like doing much today. What am I going to sit around and do? I can sit here and go, you know what, I'm going to play this today. I'm going to chill out and have a bit of a I'm going to have a bit of a chill down, and I'm going to play this because at the end of the day, that's sort of why I like this. It is one of those games where I can sit there, leave it on autopilot for a bit, watch a little bit of a TV show. And then come back to it and be like, hey, cool, I've made some money. And then I can just carry on and expand and so on. This is generally not one I want to do like a series on. It's definitely not one I'm going to do a live stream on. But showing this as a game that I am actually interested in, I do like this. And genuinely, it is a nice little chill. Like, it's a lo-fi. I would say this is a lo-fi game. You know, you get your lo-fi music that's quite calm. Like the stuff you're listening to in the in the background right now. Is one of those games you don't want to take your time you well you do want to take your time you don't want to rush anything and genuinely you just want to calm down okie dokie right well there we go I've, I've had a little bit of a faff around with a bit more coursey stuff I've put out some of the scenery bits now I want to now I want to have a look around so yeah these are my holes who are misses these are my people who are playing oh that was a bit of a shame madam or sir I'm not sure I, re I really, yeah, I, yeah. That was a bad shot. Bad, bad shot. I'm very sorry. So, yeah, as you can see, I mean, we've done a, a bit of piece. I, I, up I changed this one a little bit, and the reason why was because the double uphill was a little bit wonky, and it didn't work properly, and people got annoyed with it. And then you can actually read the thoughts of the actual hole as well. So if you go on to this one, click on the speech bubble, it says, nobody's going to notice if I pick up the ball right. That means the hole is too hard for these people. So you have to try and make it easier. So the downside to this, though, is the piece that I would want to put here would be an actual like cut off corner, which would bumper the ball this way. Unfortunately, I can't do that. I haven't got the parts. Got this feeling they will be in the like in the actual full release. I'm hoping so at least, because if not, this is going to get very, very boring very quickly. I do hope there's more to come, and I really, really do want to see the expansion to this game. So, I mean, this is my first impressions. So far, I like it. I wouldn't mind getting some sound effects and less music, because obviously I can put the own music in the background. I like the premise of it. I like the idea of being able to make money and, you know, owning an arcade and making sure it's all awesome. Um, I like the I like the simplisticness of the graphics. I, I'm liking the 
just the overall way that the game is. It's actually quite chill and quite nice and I like that and that's what it should be. When it comes to a game like this you don't want to spend like loads and loads of time doing the same sort of thing over and over again. You want to sort of expand out what you own and sort of where we're going. Right, I can't do eight. Can I do seven? Yes, I can get seven teddy bears. Fantastic. So I've got seven teddy bears, six combs. So all these are the prizes that people can get out of these machines to win over here. We've got food and drink. We've got a, a massive arcade now. And we've got all these holes. And that's pretty cool. So one thing I haven't done is I haven't actually... What's catalog? Oh. Oh. There we go. Things I didn't know. Right. Complete the tournament to unlock the category. So... Let's do a tournament. All right, minimum number of holes, four. Let's go. So, I'm back in exactly at the right time. It seems you're organizing a tournament. Playing a tournament is rather straightforward. Making the press happy is the real challenge here. Be sure to build enough photo platforms with a good view and provide some press booths. And don't forget to meet the agents in person to answer their questions. Good luck. I'll read about it in the paper. So apparently, we're holding a tournament. I've got to play the hole. All right, here we go. It's going to go up the hill, straight over the top. <laughs> okay, maybe I have to hit it just a little bit harder than that. There we go. Well, it's gone down the other side. I don't know where that's gone. I think it might have gone in. My score hasn't gone up yet. Oh, it was close. Okay, not a problem. Oh, I hit it too hard. No. That's not good. Not good. Not, not good. Right, tap it in. There we go. Yay me. So there is all these extra bits and pieces we can get for playing the game and expanding and so on and so forth. I mean, if you look at this, there is lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots. So that gives that gives the game a little bit more of a push. At the end of the day, that's a good thing. And the reason why is because as you're going to progress through this game, you're going to want to play holes that are going to be okay for you. You're going to want to actually give this a go. You're going to want to be able to sort of like make it so everyone can at least play the game. Oh no, it's coming back, it's coming back. Oh, we might be able to wobble it off that thing up there. Good shot, we're in the corner. Get in. So I have to wait until people have finished playing. And then I play on the holes that have been spinning. So, oh yeah, that's going to be a fun one. This is the one that everybody's having trouble with. So yeah, what I like about this is in order for you to progress through the game, to expand out and get more stuff, tournaments are definitely needed. I've only literally just found out about this and that's why I'm like, what? Because it's one of those things. Give interview. Ah, so you're the person running this place, right? Could you answer a few questions? Yes. What advice would you give to someone new to mini golf? Practice, practice, practice and don't forget to have fun while you're at it. I like that one. Yeah, definitely. Can you describe your strategy for tackling the challenging holes? Where's the practice, practice, practice one? I focus on maintaining a steady hand, engaging the surface texture to make accurate putts. I do. I like surface. What do you hope to achieve in the remaining rounds of the tournament? I want to keep enjoying the game and challenging myself to beat my own score because I suck. Thank you very much. Not a problem. Have a great day. Now apparently there is another a VIP. E to you. Cody Scott has been caught cheating. It was disqualified from the tournament. You stupid person. Ah, see, yes, I am the person running this tournament. How do you... Yeah, we're going to push that one. I remind myself to stay calm, take deep breaths, and carry on through the strife and the pain. How does the atmosphere of the tournament compare? I'm pretty much the same as other tournaments, I guess. Where are the unexpected obstacles in the course? Hole three, because nobody can do it. Yeah, your annoying questions being one. Uh, not really, just the usual money, aren't I? Dealing with the varying terrain and some oddly placed obstacles added an exciting twist to the game. It did, it really did. Not a problem, mate. Have a good day. I'm literally waiting for my go. All i got to do is wait for this one. So Cody Scott got uh, did not finish because he was caught cheating. So I made this hole so difficult that he got caught. It's all good in the hood, man. It's all good. I've already given him an interview. Suppose... Can I just? I would just want to play the hole, man. So my approach to this hole is I'm going to hit it off this wall here and then try and bounce it into this corner because I think that would be the way to beat this one. 
because it is a pain in the arse of a hole. That's why everyone's score just goes rapidly up when they play this one. Let's go. Right, so I want to aim for that wall there. See? Well easy, isn't it? Get to the top of the hole, and then it's all downhill from here, literally. I mean, it didn't go in the hole, but at least I should go in for a three. There we go. See? Not that difficult when you're not a computer player. This one I've never played. There you go. We're going to do this in two. There we go. No, 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 no. I believe, unless I've got to do something else, I believe I'm done with the tournament. We do know what else I've got to do. I think i just got to wait now. Because I'm in, like, fourth place. Oh, no, I have finished. The score's gone blue, so that's fine. So I'm, wait I'm literally waiting for three more people to finish, and I think the, the last couple are on this hole. So they're on three and four. That ball's not going to stop rolling. This hole, like the average, the average score for this hole is six. Park record three. Me, I did it in three. Personal record three. The mean stroke, which is the average time people, the av the average amount people play this hole for, is six point eight strokes, which means it's a, it, it's a past six to seven in the eyes of the CPU. See. Right, I'm second. Alexis Brooks is up for... He's going to take like four or five shots to do this. I should be fine. My 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 score is about to just trounce all of this. It's like, yeah, we're, we're good. We're good. Can I still put stuff out? Because I need to put a bin out. Like right here where people are. Having all these people walk around is making me re like really consider where I'm putting stuff. Like when it comes to bins and then like other things. Yeah, definitely. I wonder if I can put something out there. What about a plant? Can we put a No, we can't. Dude is just banging his head against the wall right now. I am the champion. No time for losers. Because I am the champion of the course. Because it's my tournament. Why wouldn't I know how to play this game? It's mine. That's a good shot. It's close. It's close. We like it. All these people, they're all gathered around to watch this man, like, become third or fourth. Because I'm first. Go on, put it in, mate. Go on. Good shot. Good shot. Bravo, bravo. Well, I won. Now I've got a... Here you go. Modest success for local tournament. I did get a chance to interview the park's owner, who also participated in the tournament. When asked, were there any unexpected obstacles on the course that you had to overcome? He answered, dealing with the varying terrain and some oddly placed obstacles added an exciting twist to the game. What a charming person and a good sportsman. Actually, no, I'm sitting there going, you suck! You suck! But there we go. Lorem Ipsum, oh my god, that's actually done in a different language. I can't even say that. Yeah, well, congr I, like the, I like the fact it's actually put into a different language. Well done. I was just about to read that as like gobbledygook, but I like it. Uh, Holy Moly earned four renowned for the tournament. This year's Novice Nibblers Open took place at the Holy Moly, an indoor mini golf park founded four years ago. The park's owner was clearly struggling with the organisation, but overall managed to keep it somewhat together. We hope that he'll get another chance next year and learns from his mistakes. Then holy moly can be the great place for some exciting rounds of mini golf. And I came first and I got a grand. I got a thousand dollars for winning a tournament. My tournament. On my course. That's a good way to earn money that is. That's a bloody brilliant way of earning money. So we got four renown. I don't know what that means. I don't. Is that going to be good for me? Do I earn stuff for this? Do I can I uh, can I unlock things? Catalog. I don't know. I can't even unlock anything for the stars. I'm going to assume that n the novice nibblers open. These are things I'll get later on. So what was the things that he was talking? Oh, you need to get this. You need to get that. So I need to put. So we've got two thousand dollars. I can I can start to expand out and make more holes. Genuinely, I'm liking this game. Like I said, there's a couple of niggly bits like the sound effects, some like glitchy bits I've seen. But apart from that, I'm actually enjoying this. And like again, this isn't going to be one of those games I'm going to cover 
on my channel. I'm not going to make any more live streams about it. I'm not going to do any more videos about it. I just wanted people to know this one exists. This is a tycoon game that you can just sit back, watch Netflix and chill, and play this in the background and be like, you know what, I'm going to take 24 hours off myself or however long, you know, a weekend, that's all. and just calmly do stuff and not have to rush around if you have enjoyed this video hit that like subscribe and notification button below for all other updates if you do want to help become a member become a member of the channel that means you'll pay this channel a couple of dollars a month and it goes towards the actual games that i play over here and until my next video live stream or whatever else i do I want to say peace out have fun enjoy everything you guys do a boom fist bump to you